Uh, we, we, we've been on the subject of fixing the LECMA roads for over a month now. Uh, Malik Dabo, my colleague, uh, has been there to get the latest for us. Now let's go there and uh, get what the update is on how the contractor is doing work. But this road has gained notoriety as one of the most horrible roads in the capital. It is that reason that brought us Joy News, Joy FM, Adum FM, Adum TV, many, many brands of the multimedia groups, the parent company of all these companies were here singing the same tune, the horrible nature of this road. Government made an announcement that this road had actually been awarded on contract as far back as June 20th, and that the contractor was about to start work. Indeed, the contractor started work in early July. We are here, as we have done weeks past, to assess the work that has been done by the contractor and to talk to residents and find out from them whether or not they are excited about the nature of the work, the speed of the work, the rate of work being done. So I'm standing immediately opposite the hospital. And this is where the construction started. In fact, it started way back around the Marville Homes, just very close to Spintex Road. When I went there two days after the construction started, I was told by workers that they had been given instructions to move to the epicenter of the horrible road, which is the Lekma Hospital. That was why they came here. This was what has happened. They came here, they laid a stone base of almost three kilometers on this portion of the road. The road is a dual carriage road. Each side has two lanes. Now, these two lanes, the last time I was here, they had just done the stone base for one lane. This was about three weeks ago. They had done the stone base for one lane. Subsequently, they did the stone base for the other lane. Last week, they applied what road contractors call a primer on this road. And if you can see, this is a primer. This is the light bitumen which has been placed on the stone base which was built. This is bitumen mixed with um, kerosene to make it light. Light so that they can sprinkle it on the stone base before the rest of the work will be done. So this that you are seeing here is light bitumen on the stone base. The 15 inch stone base which was constructed by GS Construction. That's the company which is doing the work. Now this road extends all the way to about a kilometer to the Kofiana Peacekeeping Training Center, close by the, the, the Teshi Police Station. Now, the intention is that this road is supposed to link the Spintex Road and the road linking Accra to Tema Community 3. So this road is supposed to hit the Kofiana Peacekeeping Training Center. That's the main Teshi Highway. But they've done it up to a point before they will continue to that level. It hasn't reached the main road yet. It's just about one kilometer before it will hit the main road. I've had conversations with some of the people working uh, with the construction company. We are told that they are working far ahead of us. We're moving there from here, which is the Spintex Road side of this major, major dual carriage road, which is linking large parts of the capital. Now. After this primer is done, a few weeks from now, it is anticipated that a second coat of bitumen will be placed, which is what the contractors, the engineers call DBM. That's dense bitumen macadam. That will be placed here. That usually comes with coarse stones. And coarse stones means that when it rains, the rain stone base which has been done. After the DBM is done, there is the binder which we place on that DBM, and then afterwards they will do the wearing. That will be the smooth surfacing of the road that will make it comfortable for commuters to drive on. We will go to the other side of the road to talk about how much as well. But as far as this is concerned, the first coating of bitumen has been placed here, which is what the engineers call the primer. Note that Roads Minister 
Amuakwata, Mr. Amuakwata, gave the contractor six months to complete the work. It's been more than six weeks since construction started. That means virtually two months are gone, four more months to go. It remains to be seen whether or not the contractor will be able to meet the deadline as given by the road minister, Mr. Amuako Atta. When we go to the other side of the road, the Spintex side, the Manette Junction side, we will assess the extent of work done there as well so that we will bring it to you live. Definitely will be on that beat. Fix Lekma now is still on. Just in case uh, you're a resident along the stretch, the Manet area, you also want to add your comment to all this. Please make sure that you do so. Touch base with us through our social media handles. Join us on TV, which is regularly our page on Facebook. Or join us on TV, our Twitter handle. And as you watch us live through my online TV on YouTube, you can always give us your comments. But many of these updates, especially the one that has just been undertaken by Malik Dabo on that stretch, the 7.5 kilometer road that is um, linking the Spintest Road, but also the main Teshi Junction, definitely uh, is going to be on myjohnline.com.